Alan, you're going to freak out when you see what we just discovered. This Robert guy is unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> it's awesome. We have literally just unraveled the King's Chamber like I've never imagined. Like right well, now. Well, that's that's why I that's why uh, that's why I spotted him. I knew <laughs> I knew this was the guy. All right, guys. <clears throat> so, first of all, what we um what we discovered is that I started showing everybody this app, you know, the King's Chamber. Mm. And so Robert says, oh, wow, those are all matching perfectly the decans, all the different constellations. Yeah. And their positions are identical to the freaking constellations, the things I'm pointing out on the walls, mm. which I don't really know all the constellations, not been really a big area of my study, <clears throat> but he does. And so we started mapping it. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, we're discovering new stuff on the walls. It's all the constellations of the decans of the procession of equinox. It's all on all four walls. So in the in the right order, <laughs> in the right order. Yeah. Well, that, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Wow. Well, yeah, it does. Yes, make it sense. does. So mm -hmm. here we have the Apis bull, which represents Orion. You can <laughs> see on the Apis bull. There's the there's this red shaped diamond, mm. but then also underneath the diamond, there's an inverted diamond. You can see the faint line trace of, right? And I can kind of try to point it out with the laser <laughs> thingy. That goes right here. It goes to the center, and then comes down on the right side. You see that line? There should yeah. be no linear lines, uh -huh. right? So and and what this is, and it's on the other side as well. It's the same as my logo. It's the uh, mm. symbol of Orion. My logo is the symbol of Orion. I never even freaking knew it. How funny is that? Because you just take the Orion, uh, the oh, Orion it. shape yeah. and stretch yeah. it a bit, and it's this. And where they meet in the middle is the three... Uh, the three stars. The, the, exactly. The mm. Yep, the three stars. So I started mm -hmm. going around the room, and I said, okay, so we've got this... We've got what looks like Artemis with a bow and arrow... And the Aquila, right? The giant Thunderbird that is, you know, shooting the arrow at the bird. Okay, so we started mapping it and said, okay, here's Orion. You see this? Yep. Okay, here's Orion. So that's going to be in Taurus constellation. So it goes around the room. So next to it, on that same wall, there should be a Cetus. Well, that's and, and Cetus and Cassiopeia. Cetus is the one that's huge. Cetus is the one that's huge. The lost, it's the, it's the dragons that form the DNA. And literally, it crosses the entire wall. And, and then you and go so, around the room and you get to the other wall, which would be the east wall. Mm. And that's where the Aquila is, which is the Thunderbird and the Delf, uh, Delphinus. And here's the symbol of Delphinus. No. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? Seriously? And Sagittarius, Sagitta, mm -hmm. right? Sagitta mm -hmm. is just an arrow. It's the arrow. It's the arrow and the and the bow. So, and then we found that on the same wall, we've also got right up here. There's a fish, right? Like the uh, Piscus austrinus. Right here, next to the Delphinus, mm -hmm. it's right here. So if you look at this, you can see right here, there's a fish. Mm -hmm. The shape of the Vesca Piscus, it's got gills, and it's got a tail that goes right here, and it's pointed, its head is going this direction to the left. And it's exactly where it should be next to the Aquila. Well, I hate to say this, Robert, but you're almost making a believer out of me. For the longest time, I've just thought you were having acid flashbacks. Um, I've never done acid, though. <laughs> <laughs> Residual. <laughs> From Helen. No. This is huge. This is just freaking huge. It really is. And mm -hmm. all the all the stuff on the walls that we found already are matching. Now we know what to look for. We'll oh. be able to match all of these to the etchings on the walls. This is a very elaborate thing, and it is the story of Orion going through all of the procession of equinox. 
to become Ophiuchus. And Ophiuchus is Thoth. Wow. 